Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge and welcome back to Civilization 6 and the Harbinger of the Apocalypse Challenge where we are playing as the Mayans and we are attempting to usher in as quick as we can the end of the world, of course we are. So the plan is we need to do what we must, we need to pollute and cause as much grot and horrible stuff as possible, pollute the world so we get up to climate change phase 7 because when we reach that climate change phase that is when the sky decides to rain down comets and the comets are very dead. They will destroy everything where they land. So if they land on a city, the city doesn't take damage. The city is annihilated and wiped from the map. It leaves great big craters in the ground, great big holes everywhere. It doesn't just kind of, you know, destroy some forests or, you know, some improvements and things. It actually changes the map. It massively sort of changes the map. So yeah, we need to survive. That's the plan. Once those things rain down, we need to be the last civilization standing. When the comets have fallen, we wanted to take out all of our opponent's civs and we need to be the final ones. And then we'll win the game. And also, win the challenge. Now of course we are on deity difficulty so we need to get to that point first. It's going to be relatively tricky to try and survive against our deity difficulty opponents to even get to the point where the climate phase is going to be up here. So uh, that's going to be the early game challenge to just sort of you know stick in there, hang around and not die a bit. Uh, we did make a pretty good start. We started next to Pai TT, which is brilliant. So the lost city of gold, it's giving us a heck of a lot of boost. Loads of gold is coming out of it, and we have a lot of culture. Our culture is very, very good for this stage in the game. I think that's pretty good. We've got ourselves a government in already, which is very welcome. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. We've got our second city in. Now you'll see that I have put some map pins down for potential places for other cities. We want to keep our cities as near as we can right now to the capital because we are Mayan, and if we do that, if they're within six tiles of the capital, we get a lovely boost. They get 10% boost to all of their yields. If they are further away than six tiles from the capital, they suffer a minus 15% hit to all their yields. So we don't want that. So we might possibly settle up here. This looks very good, because there is a lot of stuff in the sea. So we can get crabs, and we can get whales, and more crabs. And then over here, there's, yeah, there's some copper and stuff as well. So that looks like a pretty good spot to settle. Also, there are a couple of spots down here to the south as well of the capital. Uh, there's one over here, which again is a bit coastal. And there's one over here. Now, annoyingly, Nan Madala over here. And that means that we can't build... The perfect place, I think, would be to build just here. But that's too near Nan Madol. So we'd have to build over here, I believe. But if we did this, we'd be next to a look which is very nice and the mines like that that gives amenities and then oh no we're near to two luxuries in fact i didn't even notice the truffles down here so we'll be able to get our hands on truffles and there's lots of space down here for lots of farms for housing and what have you so i've put a few little map pins down i'm currently building oracle in comets are great and uh, we're building a granary over in the end is nigh two excellent names there um we are however going to stop building the oracle once we've got writing research done so let's move time on and um, because once that's in oh he wants six of our... No. No, that's not going to happen. No, no. I want to keep that, please. No, no. Refuse that. Sorry, Genghis. Clear off. Um, Yeah, we want to keep our um, diplomatic favour. We want to use that later on for proper things. Um, So, yeah, we're going to put down a... Um, we're going to put down one of the observatories. So it replaces the campus. It's a bit uh, cheaper to build. It's a bit quicker to build. And we're going to put it here. I think this is the best place that we can find for this round uh, capital. Obviously, we're missing three tiles in the capital because this thing is here. But if we put it here, it will be eventually adjacent to a plantation, which we'll get just here in time when these dyes are actually worked. So that'll be quite nice. We'll get that in. And then um, also it'll be next to some farms. We can put a farm on here. We can put a farm on here and that gets science boost as well from adjacent farms. So every two farms and a plantation, we get boost. We get two, I think, for the plantation and then an extra one science boost per two adjacent farms. So we should get plus three boost from that for our science as well, which is very, very welcome. Of course, we need to get there first. Um, let's get the whole chain just to explore down this bit of land as well. Oh, we've got our scout wandering around. Oh, let's send the scout up there. Hulche can have a wander over that way. And we have another scout down here, having a little nosy around um, Genghis Khan's territory. Let's try and head over this way as best we can. There seems to be quite a lot of jungle. Oh, and a lot of people. Right, we're stuck over there. And we've got a bit of an impasse here because that Grand Columbia Scout's not going to move. So we might have to move out of the way to let them through. <laughs> to let them out. But we can move through. Um, We'll just stay there for now. There's no point us doing anything. We'll just stay there, I think. Oh, no. Someone's built Someone's built the Temple of Artemis. That's absolutely fine. You, you crack on and build the Temple of Artemis. That is all fine with me. Um, okay, we haven't got mining yet. 
this is how far behind we are in terms of science. We are, we're just rubbish at the science. Um, okay, so what do we want to get now? I think mining might be quite a prudent thing because it gets us a luxury resource. That might be very, very handy to have right now. It's only five turns. And that means we can get this worked just here which could be very, very handy. And it allows the chopping of woods. That might be quite handy to help us build the oracle shortly. So we'll get mining and then we will change this. Now, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of doing this, but yes, we'll have the observatory. We'll put it just there. So yeah, we get no bonuses from it being next to mountains and stuff like that, I don't believe. So we'll put it here for now. We get a plus one bonus. What's that? In the adjacent farm. Ah, yeah. Okay. It will get one from there. So we'll put it here, I think. So yes, we'll put the observatory just there. Thank you very much. Um, and that's going to take another seven turns to get that complete. Um, okay. What can we do over here? Well, we've got a builder with one build left. So on charge, do we want to just leave you there until mining is done? And that'll get us a resource. Or do you want to go over here and remove the swamp or what? I'm not sure. Do you know what? Let's leave you there for now. Let's leave you there. And indeed, that is just a sort of dead end bit of land. Okay, never mind. Right, come back this way then, Hulche. Ah, right, we can sort of dodge down here, have a little bit more of an explore. How are the guys doing? It looks like those Grand Columbia Scouts might have moved out of the way. Oh, and I can see why, because there are some bar bars up there. Okay, right, we might run away from the terrifying bar bars. Um, you guys come down here, check that these areas are okay, and have a look around here. So we've not really covered that area yet. Um, and we've got some warriors. They can fortify until they are healed. You guys can just sort of keep wandering around there. Um, yeah, let's let's not get in trouble with them. Let's have a little look around the top of Kumasi instead. Let's go that way and you guys can go over there. Yeah, we'll try and explore around here. They're having a fight. Oh, they're at war, aren't they? These two are at war, which is quite good that we're not at war with them. I mean, he quite likes us. He's friendly with us, which is quite handy for us. It's quite useful to have a bit of a friend. Uh, and we'll try and come down here and across that way. Discovered a new continent, calling it Laurasia. And um, we need two era score. Two era score will get us into a golden age next time. What can we do to get an era score? I think that might just about do the job. There we go. There's y Yosemite, Yosemite, however you pronounce it. I think it's Yosemite, isn't it? Um, Yosemite Valley to me is always a sunrise, a glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Um, oh no, that's only one. It's only one. It's one era score. Oh no, right, okay. We need one more era score then. And how many turns have we got? We shall find out. Three more turns to get one era score. What can we do? What can we do? There must be something that we can do here. Um, uh, mining isn't going to help, I don't think. I mean, exploring is going to be the best thing, isn't it, right now? Surely that's going to be what we need. Unless we go and find another natural wonder somewhere around. Or go meet another sieve. Or find a goody hut or whatever. Oh, we can't just be one short. That's rubbish. That's really, really frustrating. Um, It might be that that's, that's how it ends up. That's not going to be great, is it? Um, Okay, well, never mind. Yeah, we can't really do too much about it. The cavalry you filled is an embarrassment. But thankfully a small one. Yep, cheerio. Bye-bye now. Thank you for your insults. Uh, yeah, okay, those warriors can then just sort of, uh, you can you can go go there and fortify yourselves. There you go. And you guys can keep wandering around here. Maybe we will find a natural wonder somewhere. No. And you guys go up that way. No, no natural wonders up there either. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We're going to be one point short. Never mind. Um, okay, right. Mining is done, however, which is nice. We'll move you to there and we'll move you up this way. And, yeah, let's keep you running around the top there. Right, we found the top of the world. Um, oh, Pantheon. Ah, does a Pantheon get us uh, a point, an era score point? It might do, you know. It might well do. Um, okay, right, and then we've got ourselves a choice of what we get next. I think irrigation next is going to be handy, because I notice over here we've now got these two tiles with dyes on them. Uh, that we could get for some luxuries and then sell them. You trade them off to another sieve. And uh, yeah, we want to get that one as well eventually. So yeah, we'll have ourselves irrigation next. Everything takes so long at the minute. And a pantheon. Okay, right. Now, what do we want to get from this? Let's have a look at the pantheon. I'm very tempted. I, I, I often go for divine spark. Divine spark is very, very good. Um, I do like this. Fertility rights. 
when chosen you get a builder you get a free builder in your capital a free builder and all the cities grow 10 percent quicker and of course that's very handy because your cities grow quicker which means they're working more tiles which means they make more production all that kind of stuff I'm, i might go for that i might go for that divine spark is good Plus one great person points from those three things. So from holy sites, libraries, and theatre squares. But I think, I think that, I think this one's going to be more useful in this particular challenge. So yeah, let's go for that. There is one that would give us a settler, but I think that looks like it's already been chosen. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, we'll have this. So we'll have the builder and we'll have our city growth rate 10% higher, please. And hopefully, yes. Oh my goodness me, by the skin of our teeth, we have got through to a golden age next time. Oh wow, that is brilliant. Wow, that was that was desperate last gas sort of stuff. Right, now you can actually build a quarry on this thing. So that gets us, there we go, masonry boosted, which is nice. So we get ourselves, uh, we get ourselves some marble, which is very, very handy. Um, and then we have a builder just here. Um, what tile are we expanding to next? Where are we going next, game? Uh, where is that? Purchase tile. I have for that one down there. Can we not go for that one there where there's dyes? And up here there's maize. There's lots of lovely things up there. No, it doesn't seem so. Right, I've got a plan. We'll move you to just there for now. That's absolutely fine. So you can't do anything at the minute. Then we'll go to the next turn. So go to next turn. We are in the classical era. Everything becomes a little bit brighter, a little bit more colourful. Your people's glorious age looks a lot like gloating to me. I look forward to the day of your fall. Well, that's not very nice. Why well, don't hurt you? Crikey's okay. Oh, okay, right. You're both saying the same thing. Got a nice little script there. Uh, we have defensive tactics. We need more housing for the end is night. I know. We need more housing for everything. Um, we do have an envoy. We don't have much choice in terms of city-states right now. Do we keep the envoy? I think we might keep them. Because we're not gonna we're not gonna do much in the way of culture stuff, I don't think. Not right now, anyway. Uh, have they got good bonuses? Coast and lake tiles, trade routes from the city state give us culture and gold extra. Yeah, I'm not that bothered. Not that bothered. Um, let's pick a civic where we go next. Uh, how about? Yeah, that's quite good. Farm improvements now gain plus one food from adjacent two farm production uh, improvements. Plantation improvements receive plus one food that could be quite handy it is quite slow drama and poetry not so bothered unless that opens up loads and loads of other stuff um oh yeah it does it opens up recorded history and stuff like that that could be quite nice and then civil service oh, okay we'll get this only three turns it's only three turns we'll get that done it's all fine um and yeah let's have a little further explore around here with these guys where are we going now right you just there, wait another turn. So skip your turn for now. Just just, just relax for a bit. Um, you might as well come straight back down. Uh, where can you go? Here? Yeah, you, you've sort of explored all the top bit. I suppose we haven't explored over there, have we? Can we get over there? Can you guys go across the sea yet? You come across this way. Um, and then we need to make a dedication. So we're in the Golden Age. That's all very lovely. The others are in Golden Ages as well. So I don't know they're so bitter about me being in one. <laughs> Just being meanies. Um, Eureka's provide 10% of technology costs extra. And Commercial Hub and Harbour District's gold adjacency bonus provides science as well. That could be quite handy. Builders moving quicker. Not so bothered. Not so bothered about the culture because we get a massive boost in it. Yeah, let's go for this. Free inquiry. Let's have this. So we want to make sure that when both commercial hub and harbour districts, they have good gold adjacency bonuses because they also apply to science. Okie dokie. Right. Message understood. I don't think we can even build um, commercial districts yet. I don't think we've got the research to do it. And we have ourselves a governor title. Now, do we wait until we have another city and then get ourselves another governor to go into the new city or do we improve one that we have now now liang could be quite useful with that 20 percent production toward constructing districts in the city that could be very handy indeed that is the capital do you know what we'll go for that we will go for that please yeah we'll have that extra 20 percent production lovely thank you and then we'll pick another civic that gives us a, a governor thing at some point later um macedon has declared war on gran colombia macedon 
I don't think we've even met Macedon yet, but okay. And we get four era score from building the observatory. Um, let's remove the map pin, delete that. Can we go and have a look at this? Oh, it looks very good. It looks very good. I like that. Shame we can't zoom in anymore. But yeah, look, it's got a proper, it looks different. I like the way it looks very different to a regular campus. It's got, well, an observatory in the middle. There we go. I like that. Right, so that's our special sort of uh, district in. Uh, and now do we go back to building Oracle? Yes, we do. You come round this way. You try and get up here. Big volcano. Right, now you guys chop this down. It'll give us 48 production, which might be helpful for building the Oracle. And um, we need to clear this for a farm anyway, because we want to get farms next to our observatory. So we'll clear that. Take four turns. Four turns off of making the Oracle. That's pretty good. I will take that. Thank you very much. Somebody's completed the Hanging Gardens. That's fine. Don't build the Oracle, you swines, but you can have the Hanging Gardens. That's okay. Um, right, and we'll get ourselves... What's the housing looking like here? Four out of 11. Oh, there's loads of housing. Right, we'll drop another farm in. Pop a farm in just there. Um, we will have a little look around this hill just here. Wow. There's an awful lot of rainforest and stuff over there. Um, let's get... We've got one lot of scouts coming. Oh, they're going over that way, aren't they? So I think that whole Che can explore over there. We'll try and get the scouts to explore round here somewhere. We'll see if we can explore around this way, if there's anything there to explore. He would like... Oh, oh, Genghis, you come to us mocking the size of our cavalry, yet you want some horses, do you? He's going to give us three gold for 30 turns. That's not bad for some horses that we're not using. Well, the downside is he might build things that then come to kill us in the face. Yeah, okay, we'll accept that deal for now. That's thanks. We'll do we'll do a nice trade with him. That might make him like us a bit more. We've got irrigation and we have drama and poetry. Okie dokie. So now let's go to research. What do we want to get now? Tempted by currency, because then we can get the markets and the commercial hubs in. Make us a bit more money, which is always useful, but we can then get that science boost as well is quite useful um okay that's 19 turns <laughs> so slow our science is just rubbish um or do we get sailing the only thing about currency though is it's not boosted we haven't boosted currency now we could do that we could get that boosted we could get ourselves a trade route between say the end is nigh and kumasi and get some nice money in that might be worth doing we'd have to buy a trader but we've got quite a bit of money for that um we could build ourselves a trader as well so how about we get something else first that is boosted so we'll get masonry first that, that's always good and we can build walls with that so that's quite handy so we'll get masonry and then we'll get ourselves a trader constructed over here in the end is night and then get currency and then when the trader is set up that will boost it so yeah we'll get masonry please and then in terms of civics none of these are boosted at all oh botherations okie dokie right so we just have to pick which one might be more useful I think we'll get the boost for feudalism eventually. As time passes, we will build six farms. We must have built a few of them. So I think let's get military training in first. I mean, it's the quickest one as well. It takes the least amount of time, which I know is not the best thing to do to base it on, but that'll do for now. Let's try and get you guys to wander about through here. Um, okay, now do we now send you over here to start grabbing some of those lovely resources over here, some of those dyes? because that could be very handy indeed. We could do with some of those. We also do need to get at least one more city set up, I would have thought. I mean, this one here does look the most tempting. We would have to spend some money on buying some tiles, however. There is some jade just there that we could head toward. That might be quite handy. Just want to make sure that we get all the good tiles and Namadol doesn't steal them all. Uh, how much is it to buy ourselves? Buy a settler is 440. We are a little way off of that right now okay right when you finish oh i'm going to put a trade though i just i need more money can i have big piles of cash please run you up that way okay move time on let's see what we can do let's see how we can do this yeah we definitely do need to get more we need a third city at least three cities surely surely we need a third city um they are still having a war. We'll just leave them to it. It's fine. We've met the Vatican. Hello, Vatican City. How are you guys? We don't want to send an envoy to you. I'm not too bothered about religious shenanigans, really. I mean, we do have a point to having religion. Because when we get a hundred religion, I believe it's a hundred, we are going to get ourselves a soothsayer, which is quite exciting because they go and cause all sorts of trouble. But um, we're not going to head toward that. 
when we when we can buy a soothsayer, we will when it becomes you know a thing that we can afford. But we're not going to kind of head toward that. That's not a necessity sort of thing. Can we get open borders with Chappie? Can we send a delegation to? That's quite expensive. Um, can we make a deal with you? What about open borders for open borders? He's quite happy with that. He's all right with that. Can we just do that then? Can we have open borders? Yay, there we go. Let us both profit from this, from this thing which has no profit value. Um, yeah, so come this way and then we can head past Quito, the fantastic name Quito, and then head through his land over here. Just see if we can find anything exciting. Right, you run over there. Okay, right, the end is nigh is done. Can we get a trade done? 13 turns? Good grief. <laughs> that's, that's a long time. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, that's painfully slow. That's really, really terribly slow. Maybe we'll just have to buy the trader. Well, we'll just bite the bullet and buy the trader. It's fine. There we go. We've bought the trader. It's all okay. Um, so now you, what do you want you to work on? Do you want you to work on... Oh, I kind of think you need a builder over here. You need a builder. Oh no, you've got the builder coming in. Maybe we don't get the builder then. Let's get ourselves... Can we get an observatory over here? We might need to buy a tile, possibly. We might need to buy a tile. But yeah, if we could buy that tile there, that's going to be a good spot for observatory because it's next to two plantations eventually and a couple of farms just there as well. There, there, or there. So I think that spot's very good for an observatory. The only thing is we need to actually buy it for another 85 gold. Oh, that's so sad. Um... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get on with it. Yes, please. Build an observatory. We need some science. We're not very good at the science. Any help we can have with science is very, very welcome. Okay, we've done masonry. Lovely. And we have done military training at the same time. And now the end is nigh has got its trader. So let's send it over to Kumasi. Let's just get us some gold out of that. Let's get three gold because that's always very, very nice. So we'll have three gold and we have boosted currency, which is excellent. And then on here, you, builder... You can build a plantation, which is good. So that gets some dyes, which is very, very welcome. And then if we get the next lot, we'll have a tradable amount of dyes. Um, a great person. A great scientist. Libraries, probably plus one science. Instantly builds a library in this district. Oh, yes, that is wonderful. Okay, right, you then pop over to there. Get yourself a library in here. So currently 6.6 .6 science per turn. And libraries give an extra point of science as well. So 6.6 .6 to 9.9. .9, that's a colossal improvement in our science. I mean, it's nothing compared to the culture, but that's that's huge. Okay, that was very good. Oh, and now look, things look slightly more reasonable. Six turns rather than 19. Yeah, we'll have currency, please. And then civic-wise, again, none of these are boosted. I don't think we're ever going to kill a unit with a quadrireme, but the naval tradition, not too bothered. Should we get recorded history? In fact, hang on. We could... Yeah, we're going to get that eventually. We will get that boost because we are going to build this observatory, which I imagine still counts. So how about we get... We're never going to found a religion and we're never going to kill a unit with a quadrireme. So which one of those do we want to go for first? I mean, they're both kind of... Oh, no, hang on a minute. Where's the quadrireme one? Yeah, we're never going to found a religion, but I don't care about that. Let's go for naval tradition then. Let's get that done and we'll wait for other things to get boosted. Okay, our builder over here at the end is now one charge left. Do we put them over here to get dyes or do we put them onto a hill and build a mine to give this place a little bit of production? I'm not entirely sure what's the best thing to do. Let's have a look here. What are we actually working? Right, we're working, we're working those tiles there and a farm tile down there that we are going to grow very, very soon. That does give us some more gold. That does give us a little bit more gold, which is quite useful indeed. So yeah, that might be quite handy to get more money in. Then we can buy more nice things. Do you know what? That also does give us, as we mentioned earlier, that extra resource that we can trade away. So that's going to be handy. So we'll cover that bit of ground. Let's have a wander through here. Hello. You've got a lot of things. You've got a lot of mines going on. Oh, and you've got an entertainment complex as well. Crikey's. And that volcano has erupted and Nan Madal is looking a little bit worse for wear. But OK, that's fine. That's what you get. Oh, they've got the uh, they've got the thing down here. They've got the truffles tile already. Bother. OK, we need to get a settler down there then very soon. Vatican has declared war on Nan Madal. Nan Madal has declared war on Simon Bolivar. Can't you all just be friends? Stop this petty squabbling. Come on now. Um, 
let's put you on there. Oh, crikey. Crikey, there's a lot of cities going on down here. Okay, fine. And we'll put you onto there. Right. We have a tradable resource now of dyes. Mr. Bolivar, would you like to give us something for some dyes? What what would you give me for this? Four gold. Can we can we change that to five? Can we do a bit of wheeler dealing? No, absolutely not. A preposterous idea. Do you know what? What's that gonna be? Four gold, 30 turns. We're not using it for anything. That's going to be four times 10 is 40. So 120 gold over 30 turns. Do you know what? Yeah, I'll accept that. We're not doing anything else with dye. So yes, please. Let us both profit from this. Yes, you can dye your clothes now. It's wildly exciting. Um, oh, the scouts have arrived where I told them and there's some killy barbarians right up in their grill. Okay, this could be bad because those scouts can't move. So the barbarian's going to attack them? Yeah. Can we run away? Run away as best we can run away. You guys get down here. Um, you guys have a little explore around there. And we are ah, there we go. Right, we have found the Macedons. Hello there with your fabulous metal hat and your even more fabulous hair, to be fair. <laughs> Come on now. Um, right, Alexander of Macedon. Hello, how are you? An honour to meet you. Where is your capital? It's all the way down there. Okay. This is interesting. So I'm not near anybody over here. Nobody's over this side at all. And we've only got... You know, those two are quite near. But I th it's unlikely they're going to run up and settle over here. So I think we need to get those two things in pretty sharpish. Um, uh, what? Our poets and philosophers hold up your civilization as the light of the world. And I must agree with them. Ah. Thanks, buddy. That's nice. A bit of a grimace at the end there, but okay. Right, our scouts are being brutally brutalised. Around the world, advanced tech screeches to a halt as cosmic radiation wreaks havoc. No units were destroyed. Oh my goodness. There is a solar flare. Oh, that's very pretty. <gasps> Look at that. It looks like Aurora Borealis, but across the entire world. So yeah, right now in the year 1720 BC... We're just looking, oh, that's pretty, because we've not got any electronics that it's going to affect. So, yeah, there's no advanced tech. Uh, what's the most advanced tech we've got? I don't know, probably a, a stick with a very, very sharp point, I imagine. <laughs> that's probably the best we've got. Um, wow. Okay, so that's now, that's done its thing. Um, a unit can be promoted. Oh, I think it might be all over for these scouts. I think they might be a bit dead, unless they can run up here and somehow survive and heal up up there. Oh, yeah, they can. They can. Um, oh, whichever. Woods and rainforest. It's either or, isn't it? There's lots of woods and rainforest around. Um, okay, you guys try and explore around here. You guys are completely hemmed in by the Macedons. Hang on, are you, are you at war? Are you at war with the Macedonians? Yes, you are. Good grief. Just be nice. Why do you have to be at war with everyone all the time? Just make love, not war. Come on now. Stop being meanies. I think the game might be up for the scouts. I think if we can go and attack first, it's a major defeat. But we might hurt the warriors enough that they will just leave us alone. So if we go in, just attack them. Yeah, we are quite badly damaged, but so are they. So they might run off, but if they're going to attack us, yeah, they'll take us out. I think our scout is done for, unfortunately. That is a, that is a sad state of affairs. Um, let's get you down here. Am I allowed in their territory? Have I got a, a open borders with them? I might have done. I don't know. Uh, right, and you... I mean, it's not looking very good for for Simon Bolivar here. It's not looking great at all. The garrison is looking very, very depleted down here. My scout might run away from that. He is going to leave that to just do its thing, and we'll see what happens. And is that gone? That city has... Oh, my goodness me. The Macedon have taken one of Simon Bolivar cities. Yep, okay, fine, we've got currency. And they just sort of stood there. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just fortify until we're healed. Uh, you guys maybe get back up to here now to keep an eye on that settling spot. Uh, and then you come through here. If we run through a war-ravaged land. <laughs> just run away, run away. Okay, what's boosted? Astrology is boosted, which is not that exciting but we do need it to get the boaty stuff in eventually to get celestial navigation to get harbors in i'm tempted to get bronze working because that shows us iron and iron is going to be useful 
Um, but it's not boosted, but we're unlikely to kill three barbarians. Let's get... Yeah, let's get that. Let's get bronze working. It's six turns. I know it's not boosted, but it'll have to do. Ah! Hello, Vikings. How are you? Oh, look, you've got the solar flare in your sky as well. Okay, lovely. A Viking unlike any the seas and lands have ever known. No, I'm not afraid. But bye now. Cheerio. You look very lovely. See you later. And a mega colossal eruption has happened. Whereabouts is that? So that thing is properly kicked off. Look at that. So six fertilized tiles. There is nothing around that. Where was that? That there? I might have been just there. Yeah, this one just here has just done a super big mega eruption. Okay, fine. Uh, you wander down here. Try to stay out of the way of all the troops. They're going to go and have a fight. That's losing... Um, that's losing um, loyalty, though, isn't it? Ah, right, here we go. This is a new thing. This is a very new thing as well. So this is appease the gods, the gods of wonders. The end of the world is coming. They will grant their followers boons, but we must first prove our fervor. Only the most zealous will be rewarded. So this is where we sacrifice units by throwing them into volcanoes. That's what we do. So we stand a soothsayer unit next to a volcano, and we stand a unit, a regular combat unit, next to a volcano, and we use a soothsayer to sacrifice that unit, whereby I should we distract them. We just go, oh, look over there. Look, that's a nice, that's a, there's a bird. Brilliant. And then when they're not looking, we just sort of give them a nudge in the back and chuck them into a volcano. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we can't do this right now, however, because we do not have 100 of your faith to get a soothsayer unit, which is a bit of a shame. So yeah, if you did succeed, you get a soothsayer out of it. And then other ones do get random promotions for soothsayers and faith and faith for next returns and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we're not going to be able to do much with that right now. because We don't have enough faith to even get a soothsayer unit in, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see if anybody else does stuff. I imagine the others are going to be doing bits and bobs. He is going to give us some money and open borders for some horses. Yeah, do you know what? We're not using the horses. Yeah, have some horses. Give us some money for horses, please. And we've got naval tradition. Lovely, lovely. Nice hat. Uh, lovely. Right. We do need to get some more era score. Now, how near are we to building the Oracle? One turn. If someone nicks this next turn, I'm going to be very sad. I'm going to... I'll, I will have a little cry. A quiet little cry. And we'll get... How near are we to completing to completing our thing up here? Three turns. Oh, crikey. Okay, well, let's get theology then, because the others can be boosted. Um, we don't want to send an envoy anywhere. Not right now. What are the envoys doing right now? I mean, we're not sending them anywhere. So they just sort of sat kicking their heels going, do, 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 I'm being employed for nothing. We've got the Oracle. We have a world wonder and it's a very good one as well. Yes, the Oracle is in. So at the moment, we'll be getting great scientist points because we have our observatory. Uh, so yeah, come out of that. So we could get ourselves in uh, a culture district now, a sort of theatre square. And that would give us extra points for those things as well. That could be very handy. Uh, Scout, come this way. Have a little look around. What was that? Hong Kong. Right, here we go. This is what we save these for. Hong Kong. There we go. If we give you at least one envoy, we get plus two production in the capital when producing wonders, buildings and districts. We will have that, please. We'll send one envoy over to those guys because it makes sense. Do you know what? Plus two faith in the capital. Let's send one envoy over to Vatican City. We'll, we'll just be polite. We'll have one person sat in the corner of the Vatican, just occasionally looking up going, all right, yeah, I'm I'm from the mines. It's fine. I, we're going to destroy everything soon anyway, but whatever. Hiya. So yeah, we'll send you over there as well because it gets us some extra stuff. And we've got one envoy left. And now the capital needs to build something. I think we get a settler underway pretty much immediately, please, because we need to actually get on with that. What's that? Macedon no longer has enough loyalty. Oh, is that city gone back? That city, uh, wherever it was. Where was that city? I'm very confused. Oh, there. Oh, it's 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 not Ma uh, sort of Macedon or uh, Grand Columbus anymore. It's gone into a sort of a free independent city type thing. Okay. Yeah, interesting times round there for those guys. But yeah, that's fine. I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved. I'm going to try and avoid wars if I can. Right. Recorded history has been boosted, which is good. Bronze working is done as well. A new source of iron. Where? Is it under there? Oh, right. Okay, it's under the observatory. That's fine. They can observe us digging out the iron from under there. So now we've got iron, which is very good indeed. Uh, we got an envoy for the uh, Vatican. Completed one of their quests without really knowing it, but okay. And we have another great 
scientist. Are we the only people getting great scientists in? Okay, fine. Triggers Eureka moment for maths and one random tech. Yeah, we'll have you. Absolutely, yeah. Run over there. Do some great sciencing. Yay! Buttresses have advanced. He knew all about buttresses and maths, of course. Right. Two boosts. Very welcome. Uh, you head, head down this way, then. What's in this corner of the world? There is another sieve we haven't met yet. And research-wise... Um, what do we need to actually... What do we want to... Ideally, we want to head toward this. We want to head toward industrialization because that gives us coal, which means we can get coal power plants in, which means we pollute the skies quicker. But we're a little way off that right now. We're a little way off. Let's have boosted things. Let's get horseback riding. That's been boosted. Take a bit of that. Thank you very much. And then up here in the end is nigh. Oh, it's so painfully slow up there to build anything at all. We need to get over there with a builder to put some mines down or something, because, yeah, that's that's very slow. Um, let's get a, I mean, a library would be would be wonderful to have in there, just to increase this rubbishy science amount. Um, and the commercial hub would also give us boosts to science if we've got a good spot for a commercial hub. Uh, oh, we have got some good spots for commercial hubs over this side, because, of course, there is a river. Okay. This could be interesting. So just here, we've got our campus, not campus, we've got our observatory just here. That's getting some good science boosts from being next to these two plantations. So that's good. So that's going to get some boosts. And we want to put it next to some farms. So it gets a boost from being, from being next to two farms. So that could be a farm. That could be a farm. We could then have this for plus three gold. So plus two from the river, plus one from that district next door. Yeah, let's put that just there. So remove the marsh. That's yeah, fine. Get rid of the marsh. Not really too fussed. Um, yeah, we'll keep the envoy for now, just in case we meet another city-state. Yeah, so if we get that in, 22 turns is painfully rubbish. However, our scout now has healed up. Let's go and attack that barbarian. Okay, they didn't take them down, but I think they will next time. Hurrah! Okay, and build two campus districts. That's now boosted. It's only three turns. I think it was worth waiting to do that. And then up here, the end is nigh. Let us treat you to a builder? Oh, hang on. There's a builder just there. There's a builder with two charges just sitting there. Oh, okay. Right. Well, that was terrible planning. Right. Come down here. Let's get a mine onto there to help you out a bit. And then we'll put a farm on that other bit. Um... How do you intend on growing your empire if you refuse to fight for your people? Shush you. Away with you and your brilliant hair. Oh, we could build a mine just there. Or we could build a mine here on this source of iron. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's put you down there. Right, and Scout, chase after those warriors who were trying to kill you in the face. You have now destroyed them. Take that, barbarians. Killed by a Scout. And right, here we go. This is a meteor shower. Meteors peppered one tile, leaving behind resources. Gathering them will grant advanced weapons. Whereabouts? So just there, I think Genghis might get to that point before us. But do you know what? Head over that way. Let's see if we can get there. Eight turns to see if we can get over there. So that's not a comet. That's a meteor shower. So it dots like random bits of tech around. And you get a fancy pants advanced unit if you get there first. But I don't think we'll be first. Right, you build a mine. We've boosted the wheel, which is nice, and iron working, very, very handy. Um, you heal up over there, scout face, and you just sort of keep exploring around here somewhere. Okay, horseback riding is done, as is recorded history. Someone's built Apadana, but that's fine. The Vatican has declared war on Hong Kong, and Hong Kong has declared war on Simon Bolivar. They're still not behaving, they're silly people. Uh, right, science-wise, we'll get astrology, because it takes a turn. It's boosted. It's now one turn to get, which is lovely. And then this, how near are we to getting a city up to 10? We are not near. So we'll get civil service because feudalism can be boosted and will be boosted in due course. And what do we want to do over here in Comets are great now? Because we do have our settler present. Do we get ourselves a commercial hub over here as well? Oh, look at that. There's a plus four boost. Hang on, right. If we put a commercial hub just here, that tile will get so much money, it is ridiculous. So, oh, and the, the bonus will get, yeah, well, that's good. That gives us plus four science as well. So the only thing is it'll be next to, it's next to a district. So that district there needs to be next to a couple of farms. So it'll be next to a farm there and a farm there and 
dies there for a plantation. So that will boost up the boost up the observatory. So yeah, let's put our thing here. Let's put our commercial hub right there. Right, and then the settlers are going to have to come down this way to that time. In fact, do we want to go to that time anymore? Because they are the Namadolians are eating into this space here. They're eating into this. So we'd have those tiles. We would be able to get our hands on some truffles, though. Yeah, do you know what? Let's do that. Let's put you down there. Go and settle on that tile, please. And then over here, let's try and get that tile worked for some extra food for this place so it can grow a little bit quicker. You guys will wander over there. Ooh, look, some, some copper and some crabs next to a big volcano. Very nice. And the governor title, we will save that one. We will save that. And then when we've got our city down here, we will put a governor into that city because that makes sense. Your Caesar and protected friend. All too easy to raid. Yep, absolutely. Pop on over. Come and say hi, why don't you? Come and say hi. Um, astrology is done. Someone's built Jebel Barkal. I don't think... Have I ever built that wonder? I don't think I've ever built that wonder before. I think it's always a bit too situational. Um, we'll have maths. Oh, I don't know. Iron working. So we can get swordsmen. Let's get iron working in. That's going to be kind of handy. So we'll try and get that in. Is that the only unit moving? So everyone else just auto-moving. Uh, Corgo has erupted in one of the deadliest explosions known to mankind. Crikey. Okay, yeah, that's caused quite a bit of devastation there. Um, one population lost. One unit killed. Oh, wow. It's it's killed many people. Good grief. Uh, and we will put down a farm onto there. That gives the end of nice some housing as well. Right, okay, right. Scout, continue exploring around here. You might find a goodie hurt or something. This one might not have been over here before. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I guess we could try and find the final sieve. Because there is a sieve that we've not found. Do you know what? We should go and we should go and send delegations to people. Uh, we had a parade and a festival in the town square in your delegation's honour. They had a long night. <laughs> Let them sleep in. Oh, yes. Brilliant. We'll come round to your place again. Excellent. You? No. You can tell us to clear off. You? I would never accept that. The idea is preposterous. And you, your gifts are unnecessary. If I wanted those things, I would take them. Okay, right. So we've we've got one friendly person and three who absolutely hate us. Someone has built Machu Picchu. Uh, another volcano has erupted over there near to Hong Kong. Uh, let's get you guys to run over there. Yeah, what's over here then? Where's the other sieve? Where is the other sieve? And a great person. It's another great scientist. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We will utterly take you. So, toward the Enlightenment has been boosted. That's nice. And, yeah, run over to there. Do you know what? Let's run you over to there. Let's run you over to a different a different observatory. Just because I feel like that one gets all the glory. So we'll put you over here so this one can feel a little bit more important. Okay, iron working is done, which is very good. The free city of that place has joined Grand Columbia, so it's joined the original owners. Okay, makes sense, I suppose. Uh, let's move you across to here, then. Oh, right. So there's a... What's that? Are we near Macedon? Yeah, this is where Macedon are. I imagine that must come round. Is this some sort of great big inland sort of sea, I assume, then? And our settlers are here. They are on this tile. Is this the best tile for us? We're next to pearls, which is always good. That's good. We like being next to the luxuries. And if we're next to that luxury as well, that gives us a plus two amenity boost. We will lack the ability to expand over this way, but we can expand over this way quite nicely. And there are some truffles. There's some more truffles down there, which I hope we would go to. Do you know what? Yeah, that, yeah why not? Yes, let's do it. Yes, I remove the marsh. It's fine. So the city of Koba. City of Koba. No, I don't think we're the city of Koba. Um, also, right, we need to put a governor into our new city. So we'll put a governor in and then we'll rename it. I think the only two that I'm not really interested in are Amani and Moksha. Not really bothered about those to go into the city. Um, Victor might be quite good because that place is further south than any of our other cities. So it's more likely to get attacked. And he's obviously quite good at defending, being the, you know, the gnarly, grizzled old general he is there. Uh, Magnus is quite good because if we get surplus logistics, that's 20% growth in that city. So combined with our Pantheon belief, that city will grow 30% quicker which is great. But then we haven't got Pingala. And I really like Pingala. 15% increase in science and culture in that one city is very, very good. I'm not entirely sure which one we should go for. 
I think if we have to, we'll try and get Victor in if there is a bit of a battle going on. So we'll try and get him in if there's a war. And let's go for Magnus. Let's go for Magnus right now. We'll appoint him, put him into that city. That city does need renaming. Let's call it Apocalypso. That sounds quite nice. I like the sound of that. So there you go. So the city of Apocalypso. It sounds very lovely. What we are going to do is we will purchase a tile. We will buy that tile from Namadol just so they can't steal it from us. And that could be quite good if we put a farm on that or whatever. That's going to be nice and fertile. So we'll have that. And we might want to buy that tile and that tile as well. We have got quite a bit of money. So if we buy that and that, that stops Namadol stealing those tiles from our new city which is going to be very, very handy. So there we go. Right. And then in here, what do we build? I mean, let's buy them a granary for 260 money because that's extra housing, which we do need because we're low on that, but um, also extra bit of food as well. So at the moment, we're going to grow in eight turns, three turns. Wow. That was a good investment. That was very good. Um, and we'll do this first. Uh, what's boosted? Uh, maths get maths in I think because it's six turns that will do so what do we actually want to build down here let's have a look let's get a monument in shall we let's get a monument in for this place just so they can slowly but surely get some more culture and all that kind of stuff your people settle too close you should consider seeking land elsewhere um do you know what I will look elsewhere in the future because we can settle up here next to make sure we kind of keep that promise to him and then eventually we can come back down here if he hasn't got there first. Are we going to be the first to get to the, the the boiling hot rock things that have crashed down? It looks like we might be. It looks like we might be. We are going to go into a dark age very soon, which is unfortunate. Um, and we have ourselves a heavy chariot. Oh, because they've just reached this. They've gone to that on their turn. And that's what we get. We've got ourselves a heavy chariot. A free one of those which is very good. Right. And Arab... Beata, it's a pastor, isn't it? Right, you do your thing. So engineering, boosted. Celestial navigation, boosted. And stirrups, boosted. Splendid. Okay, right, I'm very happy with that. We are running out of time to get into a normal age next time. We might be going into a dark age next time. Has anyone appeased any gods? Just Alexander. No one else really cared. Okay, well, there you go, Alexander. You enjoy. Um, we wouldn't wear a, You wouldn't wear a sheep's bladder and call it a helmet. So why claim you have amassed... Cavalry. I, I don't remember making that claim, Genghis, to be fair, but okay. Oh, are you grumpy? Because I've got I've got one horse unit. Are you are you having a strop because I have a heavy chariot? Is that why? <laughs> Get over yourself, man. Right, let's put the Hulche down here. So we can keep an eye on what's going on there. There is clearly a barbarian encampment up there. We need to try and go and find where it is, and we will keep exploring around here. Uh, okay, skip your turn. Yeah, how many turns were left? Ooh. May I offer a friendly word of warning? Change your ways, friend, or those who lead promoted armies will change them for you. Are you saying I do not have enough military? Are you planning something? Oh, I don't like it when you plan things. Right, we have eight turns to get ourselves six era score, or else we shall be plunging into a dark age next time, which is not ideal. What can we do about that? We can't get a wonder in, I don't think. We could get some commercial hubs in. Meant to be the first one of those. That might be quite handy. Um, we give him 20 iron. He gives us one gold. 30 gold. No, 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 no. No, more. Give us some more. Give us three gold. No, make it more. No, absolutely not. No, bye-bye. Sorry, Genghis. Your deal with rubbish. Back to back to business school with you. Okay, let's try and cut round here. Oh, swordsmen. Swordsmen are there. There's a big storm. Is there a storm near us? Nope, the storm rages on. We will try and head into there. Oh, there's a big mountain in the way. Right, those scouts probably need to run away a bit. Then we try and get them to run away. Right, can we upgrade a warrior unit to a swordsman unit? That will give us that'll give us some um, some era score. When it will say, yeah, you've used iron, well done. Um, yeah, can we do this? 110 gold, we've got plenty, and 20 iron. Yeah, we'll do that. That gives us plus one era score. Okay, so we're one closer. So we need five more. We might get one next turn when we build the commercial hub. Because that's the first time we will have constructed a commercial hub. So there we go. That's three. That's three. Okay, that's very nice. Um, right, the governor is established. Very good. And uh, you guys are just sort of stuck. 
Guys are stuck down here. Okay, well, you have to wander back then. Wander back through the snow. Meanwhile, the scouts need to run away. Run away very quickly, scouts. <laughs> Flee the zone. Flee the zone. Um, okay, what do we want to do with the capital? I feel like the capital needs to build some more defence. I feel like all our people are not liking us anymore. So let's get uh, a Hulche trained. Uh, yeah, we need two more era score. Where's that going to come from? What was that? The Minakshi Temple. That's fine. You can have that. Um, mathematics is done. Right. Scout run away really fast. Thank you. This scout come down here. That is indeed the bottom of the world. Okay. Research wise, the wheel is boosted. Let's get the wheel for one whole entire turn. Why not? I've just noticed that Apocalypse, our new city, is uh, now following Catholicism. That's their dominant religion, although it is coming down. Now, who is that? Who is who is Catholic? Oh, it's um, it's Grand Columbia over here. I guess that makes sense because we are quite near to them. Although we're nearer over here, Panama is the nearest, and they're Zoroastrian, so that might start taking over slowly. Now, I'm not too bothered. I'm not really bothered about the religion stuff. Does it give us some nice things we can do? Can we can we build some nice stuff? We can ah, I hadn't noticed this. We can get ourselves a soothsayer. Now, yeah, that's part of the rules of the challenge. We need to get one when we can. Oh, yes, yeah, so I've obviously overlooked that. Um, yeah, let's get ourselves a soothsayer right the heck now. Right, move to next turn. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, our trade routes have ended. I think we're going to go into a dark age, which makes me a bit sad. Right, wheel and civil service done. Right, one trader. We've got one trade unit. Um, go to... Namadol gets us more money, but we could send it down to Quito for some gold and also a bit of science, which could be very helpful. Let's do that. Go on a slightly different route. Right, you guys keep running away. Let's bring the swordsman up to here for a second, just in case those barbarians follow. And now we have ourselves a soothsayer unit. So the soothsayer can go to any of the highlighted tiles and cause a bit of a disaster. So like, if we go to here, that might cause them some issues, and that might be quite funny. Or over here, that might cause them some issues. Let's wander over here, shall we? Let's set them on their way over there, and then we'll see what kind of silly natural disasters we can cause. I don't think, have they stopped on the same tile as someone else? Uh, yes, they have. Um, but yeah, they're kind of, they've got this sort of crazy sort of, I don't know, like a kind of horseshoe sort of structure type thing, really. I don't really know what it is. But, um, but yeah, they've got this sort of thing set up. And, uh, yeah, they sort of wander about. I mean, look, look how creepy and sinister it looks. And they're just wandering about behind it. It's very odd. But, yeah, they're like mobile sort of disaster machines, which is very handy. In fact, you know what? Let's move that out the way. Put that there for now. And then we'll have a look at it properly. So, um, so yeah, there you go, look. So, that's the soothsayer just there. So, they have kind of a, a thing, like a, a, a stick. And there's some candles. I mean, it's all very, it's all very sinister. And they're on these little wheels. They sort of trundle about and just cause disasters, which is nice. What's it got on there? 228. 228? What does that mean? Why has it got 228 written on it? Is that significant in some way? Is that the turn of the year that it was created or something? I don't know. But there we go. So we'll see one of those in action next time as well. Uh, we need more housing over in Apocalypse. So yeah, trading post has been created. Okie dokie. Um, right, let's pick our research. So we'll pick, we'll pick engineering because that's been boosted. It's nice and easy to do. It's only four turns. Get some catapults. We'll choose a civic. We've still not built six farms. Still not got six farms. We must make an effort to get an extra farm. Do we have a builder around? No, we do not. Um, okay, I mean, feudalism is going to be the most useful. Divine right will only lead on to stuff down here. Not too fussed about that. So feudalism is going to be the one that we want. Although I feel like we should have another farm. Do you know what? We'll get that. And then over over down here, in fact, in Apocalypse. Let's treat ourselves to a builder. And let's get a builder. Oh, let's treat everybody to a builder. Let's go completely mad. That's 280. Get a builder over here. We've got the money for it. It's fine. 295. Yay, builders. Builders for everybody. And next time we'll build a farm. Hopefully that will boost that. And I think that's where we'll leave things for now. We shall, we shall finish up for the moment. We've got our third city in. That's very good. Third city, a bit close to Namadol, but it's fine. We've got a wonder in. Things are looking pretty good. We have got our first soothsayer in. I must be a little bit more aware of that up at the top there. I must remember to actually buy them when we can. I think their cost has gone up now. Does it go up if we purchase? 
200 yeah okay so it goes up each time you buy them which is sort of how Civ works when you buy builders and stuff as well the cost goes up so we've got them in so have some fun with them we'll send the soothsayer down here to cause some fires or cause some devastation over here maybe stand them next to a volcano and cause the volcano to explode again that might be quite fun so we'll see what we can do and um, and then yeah we'll just sort of keep going as best we can although i fear that we're not overly popular right now in terms of score we're not doing too bad 191 yeah, we're earning the, the least amount of science and the least amount of, of culture. Um, also, oh no, that's the amount of gold we've got currently. So we did have the most amount of gold. And in terms of faith, we do have the least. But again, that we, you know, someone else could have just spent that and we just spent some of it. So that's not really representative. But yeah, in terms of score, we're on 191, 219, 303, 252 and 248. So we're not too far behind. We're not too far behind, so we're doing okay, and we are very slowly but surely getting to the big important tech, the big one that we need. We need to get industrialization, get a ha get our hands on some coal, then build some coal power plants, and then slowly but surely start polluting the world because that will bring forth the comets which is what this challenge is all about but yes we'll finish up for now and we'll see how we get on next time hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the harbinger of the apocalypse challenge in civilization 6 but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time this robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face. 